So I want to talk to you about what happens when you drink distilled water. And uh, first I got to show you this. This is my baby. Uh, this is my distiller. And I'll leave a link in the description to a review that uh, sold me on this one. This is probably one of the best ones you can buy online. And it's a lot of work to make water from it. You know, I'll be honest. But uh, I'll, I'll never do anything different than drink distilled water. And uh, I'll tell you why. There's some great, I want to call them emotional benefits, spiritual benefits maybe, you could say that. I think of it as emotional uh, because that's what I've noticed as, as a change. Um, when there's fluoride in your water, it, uh, from what I hear, it calcifies the pineal gland. And uh, certain, you know, brain chemicals don't uh, release properly. Well, anyway, um, I'm talking about my own personal emotional benefits from drinking distilled water. And, and I distill it here, and, and then I'll filter it just because... Well, I get my water from the creek, and even distilling it, you know, after you distill it, it has a flavor, like uh, the the uh, the microbes in the water. They um, they after you've cooked it, it kind of leaves a flavor in this in the distilled water. So the just running it through a Berkey, you know, that gets, that gets the, uh, the taste out of it. You know, there's probably, uh, like BPA in the water because of that, but, you know, I, I would guess that it was a lot smaller amount than what's in tap water. But anyway, um, one of the things you experience from drinking distilled water is, uh, stronger emotions. You know, and one of those emotions, you know, I'm not going to lie, is, is sadness. And, uh, I, I probably haven't cried since 2015, uh, after my brother died. And you're supposed to cry after something like that happens. Like, if your brother dies, you're supposed to cry, you know, but, uh. I cried probably four to six times, which wasn't a lot, you know. I had an emotional disconnect, and um, I haven't cried since then until 2020. And uh, three months after drinking distilled water, you know, I finally sat down and had a good cry. <laughs> it, it wasn't really good. I, I'm still you know, emotionally disconnected, but, you know, and that sounds bad, you know, but also you, you experience more joy, you know, happiness, compassion towards others. Um, I would definitely recommend drinking distilled water, you know, um, people, <clears throat> I made a comment one day about drinking distilled water and somebody they said they said watch out that's the oxytocin in your brain tricking you you know and I I don't care you know we we're humans and we're supposed to feel we're not supposed to block those brain chemicals people have a concern you know when when you're drinking distilled water, you're spo supposedly not getting any minerals. You know, I would argue that uh, tap water does not have minerals to begin with. And neither does bottled water. It doesn't have the right minerals that we're supposed to to get, the phytominerals and nutrients. 
And you know what I would do if I were concerned about drinking distilled water and, and have done is um, there's certain things like uh, shungite that from Russia that you can put in your water and it, it adds minerals that you were never going to get. And I, I would buy some magnesium and some potassium and calcium or or um it's called didymus earth you know and and drink that once or twice or or three times a day you you know in in the recommended amounts and you won't have a problem with loss of minerals and it, it and i'll tell you i did when i first started drinking distilled water i wasn't taking mineral supplements and I did sort of feel like something was off and but maybe it was just the lack of the chemicals in the water you know maybe it was a, a detox a withdrawal but uh, I would definitely recommend drinking distilled water